Yeah, yeah. I went to the barber. Oh, yeah, yeah. But now it got so hot in the Netherlands that I'm sweating all the time. It's really hot and my hair just keeps melting, if you know what I mean. Oh, that part goes here. Today's video topic. Ah, oh, yeah, I forgot. Um, my Serbian fans felt offended because of something I said in one of my videos. And I think that I know what it is about. So I'm about to clarify that, explain that, and put everything into perspective from what I was mentioning or actually thinking at that moment. So in one of the videos, it showed a, um, I think it's one of the government buildings. I forgot which building it's exactly in um, Belgrade that NATO bombed and they left it as a memorial from the NATO violence. I said, it's one of the only buildings or something bombed in Serbia, something, I said something like that. It's not exactly the, the case, I know. And some of you guys got really mad because of that and commented, in the, commented it in the comment section, of course. Um, call it insane and stupid and blah, 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 blah. I, I get the point and I, I get that it sounded stupid when I said it, which I should have clarified immediately. I'm gonna clarify it right now for you and explain it and put it into perspective to see if it's really that stupid, what I said. First of all, I wanna say that no, I don't have anything against Serbs or Croats um, in general. Nothing against that. I have stuff against the war and people who were involved with the war uh, and people who did stupid shit during the war. As I mentioned in multiple other videos, I have Serbian friends, I have Serbian family, not third, second, fourth uh, row family, no, really close family, Serbian family. Into Serbia multiple times. I, I just, I feel like, I, I still feel like a Yugoslav to say so since I travel through the entire region and I don't see any borders or boundaries and I, I don't bow for hate, racism and that kind of stuff. With that out of the way, let's put it into perspective. <sighs> During the entire war in Bosnia and Herzegovina, 100,000 people died, confirmed deaths. So this is like by the latest statistics and yada yada yada. I did my research. 20% of these 100,000 were ethnic Serbs within the Bosnian borders. So 20,000 Serbian people died during the war um, in Bosnia and Herzegovina. On the other hand, 80,000 Bosnians died, four times as much. When I said with the bombing and stuff, um, every death is one too many, especially when it comes to war and when it comes to civilians. This is um, probably or maybe gonna hurt some people, yada yada yada. I know every topic on this region will but hurt someone, so I don't give a shit. Put it my up well, my statement at the time in perspective, um, during the NATO bombings, which were taking place for 78 days, I think, two and a half thousand people died. Only on one, in one village, one enclave in Bosnia, Srebrenica, the known Bosnian enclave, 8,000 people died within a couple of days. 8,000 within a couple of days. That's only one place. When you take into account the fact that that country was at war for almost three and a half years, or let's say four years, day in, day out, the country is attacked by a professional army, um, since most of the Yugoslavs army uh, equipment, soldiers were Serbian and this was stored in Serbia and Serbian locations. Most of this equipment got turned around and used against the Bosnian civilians who didn't have an own army. The fact that you get mad because you may have lost some family member during the NATO bomb bombings, I completely understand. And it's that's something that, that's on both sides, both on all sides, because you know, Croats and yada yada yada. A lot of people died and yes, it is sad. Putting it into perspective, two and a half thousand people dying from bombings from NATO in Serbia, while a, a big part of their professional army is uh, killing civilians unarmed or lightly armed trying to defend their home country a mass scale for multiple years sieging their capital and then you find it offensive when i say that it is one of the only things bombed in serbia it's destroyed buildings and two and a half thousand people dead don't compare to four years of siege uh, like extermination camps like in the world in world war ii literally people being <laughs> put into camps and made to die, killed in brutal ways, tortured, yada yada yada. Shot dead in mass graves, genocide. Basically breaking every rule that exists in war and amongst humankind. 
I'm not saying that this is only done by the Serbians, but I'm saying that, that 80,000 people, Bosnian people, are dead. 20,000 were killed within the borders of Bosnia and Herzegovina who were ethnically Serbian, and 2,500 were confirmed dead from the bombings from NATO. Again, I'm putting it into perspective, saying that those bombings are nothing compared to the suffering that's going on in Bosnia and Herzegovina, the damage that has been caused there. So imagine your pain as a Serbian civilian for losing, let's say, one or two family members um, during the NATO bombings, and multiplying that by 150 times. Just for the sake of, try to imagine that level of pain. And then you'll get why I'm putting it into perspective. As something that's not heavy is not okay, I know. And I apologize for that if I, if I offended someone in, in that way. Of course, every loss, as I said, is a big loss. But when putting it in perspective, when it only comes to numbers and damage to say so, and the whole story around it, it's this compared to this. That's what she said. I mean, I have to throw throw one of those jokes in. <laughs> yes, NATO bombed, um, they say they bombed military targets. Yes, I know you are mad because of that, since I know that most of NATO is just the US to say so on America, on European soil, sorry. Um, and yeah, their bombs tend to deflect from military targets. <coughs> Oil. <coughs> Competitive firms from ex-Yugoslavia that comp competed with the American market. Yes, I know that the bombings were probably not fair and that they hit targets that they should not have been hitting. But then again, you're sieging another capital and mass murdering uh, an entire group of people in another country. So you get, you get the point that getting bombed is that I don't is kind of what you asked for asking for is maybe the stupid way to this is so hard to talk about just say that actions have consequences put it that way the actions at that time from Serbian fo forces Serbian soldiers um, or Yugoslav soldiers army etc against the people of Bosnia and Herzegovina had consequences. I think that's the that's the way I'm, I'm gonna stick with it in order to not offend anyone too much. Hope you guys now understand. I put it into perspective, losses against losses, damage against damage, actions which were performed by one side, actions that were performed by other sides and the consequences of those actions. So I hope you guys are not offended anymore and you, and you realize why I said what I said and how I put it into perspective and that you understand that I don't hate anyone, that I'm against hate in any way or form. Certain actions from certain countries or certain countries, you, can, you cannot say that all people are bad, but from the, from the people who were fighting at that time, piss me off. And I think that's for a good reason. With that said, I hope you guys are still being subscribed. I hope you can continue watching my video since I don't usually go deep into these kind of topics. And I see all of you guys, including all the people who were offended, in the next video. Ciao. Perfect.